Hey folks, AJ here, and in this video, we're gonna test out, is there a difference between an NVMe PCIe adapter if you're using a by four slot or a by 16 slot? So let's go. Hey folks, AJ the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by. And on this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Now, this isn't specifically about media ministry, but it is dealing with tech, and that's one of the things that we do here. So this question came from Nick Papa, who wanted to know, he looked at the video, Will It Work?, where we were talking about installing an NVMe drive using a PCIe adapter into an old motherboard. This was a uh, FX 8320, I believe I did in that video. And a lot of people have been asking about this and he posed one question that I never really thought about. Where that card actually was a PCIe by four card. And he just wanted to know, hey, what's the performance on it? Were you getting satisfactory speeds equivalent? Um, he was asking about the um, Samsung Evo at the time when I was using it, I've since changed that now, changed the motherboard, but he wanted to know, is there a difference in speed? So I recently got a silicone power one terabyte and I'm using that same adapter in my new system, which has two NVMe slots on it. So my Samsung Evos are connected directly to the motherboard, but I have a third NVMe using that adapter. So he actually requested a specific product, which I wasn't able to get, but I got something that's close to it as possible. And it just came in today. This is a by PCIe by 16 adapter. And we're going to see, do we get faster performance with that? It actually has a heat sink, actually comes with a, some little uh, screwdriver, some tools, but I recently got my iFixit kit which I don't know why I procrastinated so long in getting one of these for all the computer stuff I do, but I am loving this. So let's just crack this open real quick and let's see what's in this. All right, we got some screws there, which I believe is for the heat sink or extra screws for the heat sink. So as you can see, very cool by 16 slot and we got some thermal paste that's going to go on top of the drive that goes inside of here all right so first off let me go ahead and place this back in here and let's cut back over to the computer well cut over to me <laughs> and then we're going to cover to the computer so like i said i'm already i already have a drive in the system right now and if i pull up our black magic disk speed test as you can see this is what i'm getting with the current drive which is about at half the speed it's rated for so if i come over here to my computer so y'all can see so this is my first samsung evo this is my second samsung evo this is two 250 gigabyte SSDs that are rated together. And in RAID zero, this is just a regular old two terabyte drive. And then this is my one terabyte here that's using the adapter. So if I go here to hardware, and as you can see, this is the SPCC M.2 PCIe SSD adapter and this is using the silicon power one terabyte drive that's in there This is the speed that I'm getting off of that. So what we're gonna do is switch over to this and See do we get a performance difference and this is just again I if you're asking for all the numbers and all this other stuff that other tech folk do I'm not at that point. This is me just plugging this in switching it out do I get any faster performance? That's really to the extent of it is. Um, I am working to get better at all the tests and analytics and all that other stuff that you come to expect with some other folks. This is just me just trying, hooking it up, 
see if it works. <laughs> so let me go ahead and shut down this computer, pull the drive out, switch this out, and then we'll go from there. All right, so we got the new drive in. Here is the screenshot from the previous one. And let's go ahead and open up my computer. Here is the drive. Let's go to properties. And we just wanna see how it shows up. All right, so it shows up exactly the same way um, with a SPCC M.2 PCIe. So, yeah, I mean, not bad. We can check to see if there are any drivers that need to be updated with this. This was 2006. I would think there would be some new drivers with it, but nothing came with it inside the package. So, I don't know. I mean, the fact that it's using the same driver, you're probably gonna get the same speed, but I don't know until we crack open the Blackmagic disk speed test and we'll test it out. All right, here's what we originally were at. This is what we're gonna be going to. Let me scoot this down so you can see. We're gonna to point to, we're already on the H drive and it's actually in the same location how I set this up before. So let's see, three, two, one. All right, so about the same. I mean, the reads are a little bit faster. Um, you know, I could keep it going or change the file, the file size, but it looks like there's really no difference. And if you're using PCIe uh, by four or by 16, which will make me also assume there's no difference if you picked any of the other types. So, so I think Nick Papa, <laughs> you asked for me to show if there was any difference and it looks like, I mean, you get a slight, slight, slight difference, but honestly, the new one and this one pretty much performed exactly the same. Now, again, I'm not using a Samsung Evo in this. Again, it's a silicone power that I have. And, but again, the drive is exactly the same. What I'll probably want to do is see if I can find some drivers, see if that changes anything since these are old drivers, but I'm getting pretty much the same performance. So, hey, um, I guess that gives you another option. You could use one of these or a full slot um, NVMe PCIe adapter if you wanted to. I will link in the description to the exact same one that I had if you're interested in that. So hopefully that helps. So on a side note, now I have an extra one of these <laughs> laying around. So I'm gonna see what I can repurpose this for maybe put it in a computer at church or something right like that and get rid of the um, RAID drive that I have there, something like that. Anyway, if you like this type of content, I appreciate a like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry or help you with any other tech stuff in any way, shape or form. Thank you, GoPro, for turning on. <laughs> anyway, this is AJ. We will see you on the next video later.